Buonasera Presidente Biden oh. <laughs> Presidente Biden President, Mr. President It's okay That guy doesn't look old enough, actually. Remember when Joe Biden got elected and they said the adults were back in the room? Remember when people on the left were saying that internationally, everyone's laughing at us because Donald Trump is our president? Remember all of that? Remember that they said that Joe Biden was going to be taken seriously? We see it every day. Every day, people, politicians, and public figures call out Joe Biden's age and cognitive abilities. How dare they? And when it comes to the media, it isn't just American networks or TV stations who mock the 81-year-old commander-in-chief for his onstage gaffes on public blunders. This week, this Saturday Night Live style skit from an Italian TV show has gone viral for their comedic interpretation of Joe Biden taking to the stage outside the White House. Before we jump into this, I got two questions for you. First off, do you think that making light of Joe Biden's age and his inability to string together a sentence is really falling on deaf ears at this point? Kind of like how when the left would say that Donald Trump is brash and et cetera, et cetera, the right didn't care because they wanted someone who would get the job done. They don't care if he was maybe lacking in decorum. They wanted someone to go in and crush it. Do you think it's kind of the same with Joe Biden? They don't care that he's not cognitively there. They don't care that he can't talk. They don't care that he gets lost on stage or forgets names or forgets countries or forgets that people have died decades ago. They just don't care. Do you think that's the case? Kind of the same as it was with Donald Trump and the left? And secondly, she says this is a Saturday Night Live style skit. What do you think about Saturday Night Live today? I don't think that this is like Saturday Night Live because this is actually funny. And aside from the episode recently with Shane Gillis, I haven't seen an SNL skit that was funny in ages. Anyway, let's go. Buonasera. President Biden. Oh. <laughs> President Biden. President, Mr. President. It's okay. 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 That guy doesn't look old enough, actually. Welcome, benvenuti. No, di no, mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mr. President, Mr. President <laughs> ecco. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, very good. Si sente bene? Yeah. Si. Uh, si. Uh, uh, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Mamma mia. Thank you very much. Ecco. Feel good. You are welcome. Buonasera. Dove va? <coughs> eh, Mr. President. Eh, oh, mamma mia. <laughs> No, non arriva la metropolitana perché non è la metro, it's not the subway, non è la metropolitana qui, no, no, no. What's your name? Con chi parla? Eh, Mr. President. Eh. My name is Joe Kennedy. No, Biden, lei è Biden, <ride> è Biden, ma con chi parla? Oh, certo, prego. Ecco, se riesce, eh, if, you, if you can, no, 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 sta girando su, no. No, Mr. President, no, not turn, no, no, you have to... Hello, my name is no, Joe Kennedy. <laughs> The clip was circulated on social media to poke fun at President Biden's mental state. He's notoriously being accused of having cognitive decline, losing his train of thought while speaking, mumbling over his words and getting lost on stage. Fact check the true. same Italian show, which was aired by the European branch of Warner Brothers Discovery, has also poked fun at the US president in another clip this week. This one shows the fake president struggling to find the podium, forgetting world leaders' names, and then accidentally pressing the fatal red button. Buonasera, Presidente Biden. Presidente. Good evening, Mr. Pre no, President uh, Biden. President. Here we are, President, Presid uh, President Biden. Qui. Here. Yes, yes. Good evening. Buonasera. Yes. Yes. Eh? I said to the president of Israel, si. Mikhail Gorbachev. No, no, non è Gorbachev, non è Gorbachev, <laughs> il presidente dell'Israele, no, no. Sorry, Michael Jordan. <laughs> no, 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 no. When he went to the moon. Quando è andato sulla luna. And uh, he was shot from Dallas. Non hanno sparato a lui a Dallas, quello è Kennedy. No, sia fermo, fermo, Presidente. This is what the world Presidente. thinks of us. Long shot from Dallas, the moon. Si sta, si sta confondendo con Kennedy. Uh, 14 sì. millions. Sì. Eh? Me, miles, 44. 
Vabbè, ma, non è, ma non è lui, Presidente. To, uh, Mr. President. His wife La moglie. Try to bring him. No, ma quello è Kennedy. Dobbiamo by this. Cosa fa? Dove va, Presidente? Cosa fa? Presidente? <laughs> Mr. President. Uh, right. No. <laughs> What are you going? Stay, stay, stay quiet. Ecco. Ok. No, no. no. Please, 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 please. Cosa sta dicendo? Cosa sta facendo? I have no. la è la valigetta dei codici atomici quella. No, no. 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 Lei non sta bene? No. No. Gli hanno fatto grosso, forse. No, ma non sono le pillole, non, non sono Now le medicine. The, the no, 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 no. Of course, those critical of Joe Biden and responded to the clips on X, pointing out what they say is an accurate description of how the president behaves on the world stage. One person wrote, we are now the laughing stock of the world. Another wrote, wait, that's not actually Biden? I'm positive I've seen this press conference before. And national embarrassment. Finally, sad that it has come to this, but the skit is hilarious. In April 2022, a Saudi Arabian state-funded TV network called NBC went viral after they made a skit about Joe Biden's various gaffes while also poking fun at Vice President Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what the world thinks about us guys. Thank you very much. Today we're going to talk about the crisis in Spain. That guy's too well spoken. Yeah, we're going to talk about the crisis in Africa. Yeah, Russia. Yeah, Russia. And I want to So this is inaccurate because this guy's far too well spoken and Kamala actually knows what's going on. Both are not correct. <laughs> Talk about the president of Russia, yeah, Putin, yeah, Putin, Putin. Now, all of this mockery comes in the midst of the 2024 presidential campaign, which will take place in November, and it is looking like it will be a repeat showdown between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. In true Donald Trump trolling fashion, he posted this video in January to poke fun at Joe Biden, calling it a White House senior living ad where residents feel like presidents. Oh yeah, this is a good one. At White House Senior Living, our residents feel right at home. <laughs> our vibrant facility oh. offers delightful activities oh, It's like you want to laugh just so you don't cry. Clock, this is actually our president. Care, and exquisite house-made meals. Well, I've been eating everything that's put in front of me. I've been eating all, all oh, yeah, Italian yeah, yeah, food, yeah. basically. And ice cream. And ice cream, chocolate oh, yeah. chip ice cream. White House Senior Living, where residents feel like presidents. President Joe Biden continues to be heavily criticized for the way in which he speaks in public. Just this week, he was a guest on Jimmy Kimmel's show when he stumbled over his words. I told you all there was going to be an American president who said, uh, Putin, Putin, come do whatever you want in, uh, to, to, to NATO if they don't, if the other guys on our team don't pay up every single cent they promised to pay. Look, he's got on his money laundering pin. You guys see that? <laughs> got to push that money laundering any chance he gets. <laughs> hey, for, I mean, God, what are we talking about here? And again in a press conference this week. And also, we need to, uh, we, we need to, in terms of supplemental, we need to deal with the Israeli portion. And then again, while attempting to read a quote at a White House black tie event. And you know, uh, stand here in front of this portrait, the man behind me here, he, uh, he said, and I want to make sure I get the quote exactly right, he said, we, the better angel, he said, we must address the council of, and address the better angels of our nature. And we, do, and we do well to remember what else he said. He said, we're not enemies, but we're friends. Yeah, yeah. It's the middle yeah. of it's in the, in the part of the Civil War. He said, we're not enemies, but we're friends. We must not be enemies. Folks, and I've been around, I know I don't look it, I've been around a long while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like I said, guys, this is funny and you laugh, but it's sad 
and you're laughing so that you don't cry because this is our president. <sighs> and I know it can seem like a cheap shot sometimes, but we're talking about our commander in chief. We're talking about the leader of the most powerful country in the world. And he talks like this. Those last few clips were just from the past week. I, I get so mad when I hear people say, oh, it's just a stutter, he's had it forever. All you have to do is just go back and look at older clips of him. Totally different. This is not a stutter. This is cognitive decline. This is the inability to process thoughts. That's far different from the inability to speak, which he also has, but not in a stutter way, in an actual mumbling, doddering, senile old man way. We want to look at how the world thinks about us just look no further that's what the world thinks about us and hey you can get even more objective and empirical and say all right well this is just a few funny shows poking at an elderly senile president but surely globally because of his experience and the adults being in the room things would be better but of course we know that's not the case we have russia ukraine we have israel palestine just waiting any day for China to go at uh, Taiwan. The, the proof is in what's happening in the world around us. None of this happened under Donald Trump. And you can say what you want about Trump is crass. Trump is a bully. Trump doesn't have respect. Trump this, that, whatever. Look, if you're having congestive heart failure and you need a bypass surgery, do you care if the surgeon is A, an asshole, but really good at what he does and is going to fix you or be senile, incapable of forming sentences, but is nicer. And I would even argue that point about Joe Biden. I don't think he's very nice. I mean, but let, let's leave it at that. You would pick the asshole because you believe in practicality and you believe in fixing your heart so you can continue living. That's all I got to say about this. The world is laughing at us. The world is laughing at Joe Biden. The world doesn't take him seriously as evidenced by everything that's going on around us globally. This wouldn't have happened under Donald Trump. You can disagree. If you do, let me know in the comments, but you know where I stand. Bye.